As you recall in the past three training videos, we learned what styles are, and they're nothing more than a collection of formats, and we learned how to create three different types of styles, and they are text styles, list styles, and table styles. Here I want to show you how you can modify those styles and also delete them. First of all, let's learn how to modify them, and we'll start up here on the Home tab to the Styles group, the text style. There it is. Go ahead and right-click on it and go to Modify, make your changes. When you're done, click OK. That's simple, right? Also, when it comes to modifying your list style, again, Home tab, Paragraph group, click on the multi-level list, and there's our style. With that little picture there, go ahead and right-click on it and modify, make your changes, click OK. And then the table style, well, need to have a table. By coming up here, clicking on the Insert tab, clicking on the table drop-down arrow, and selecting a few cells, then we get our related contextual design and layout tabs. There's the style in the styles group. You can right click and go ahead and go to modify table style. And there's the delete table style as well. But when it comes to deleting, if you want to go ahead and keep it from appearing in all new documents, then this is how you do it. Come up here, click on the home tab, go to the styles group, click on its expandable dialog box button. So it opens up the styles task pane. Then come down here, click on manage styles. It opens up. Then click on import export. Whew, that's a lot of steps. In any case, this is what's currently in the document. You've got the styles, you know, for the list, text, and tables, pithy, spiffy, and fancy. But also, you can see over here, in the normal template, that means every time you create a new document, it's based on the normal template, it's going to be available in there as well. So you'd select it, fancy, delete it, and it says, do you wish to delete the style fancy? Yes. Also, let's do pithy, delete, yes, and also spiffy, delete, yes. I can go ahead and close out, but before I do that, this brings up a good point. By the same token, if I have a style over here and I'm like, I would like that available in all new documents, select it, copy it over. That way, anytime you create a new document, you'll have spiffy back again, but I don't want it there. Select it, delete it, yes, close out, let's close out of that, and well, let's go ahead and click on File, go down to New, double click on Blank Document, and let's see if anything's there. Styles, it's not there, click on More. Text style isn't there, click off, multi-level list, click on the drop-down arrow. And why is it still in there? I thought we got rid of it. Well, when I right-click on it, it doesn't give me any options to modify it, so it's really not there. And the reason why it's still there is because I have my other document open here, my other Microsoft Word document. So if I close out of all the documents, let's go ahead and let me close out of all the documents, not save anything, and then go ahead and come up here and double-click on Word to open it up. Let's try that again. Let's come up here, click on the multi-level list, and see it's gone. So, last but not least was the table style. Let's go ahead and insert a table, and right there. And it's not there in the table styles group. Click on more to double check. Nope. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.